Hola, yo soy Danny Danger. A few weeks ago, we stopped by Austin Comic Con to talk to artist Jessica Grundy, and here's what she had to say. I am here with the incredibly talented Jessica Grundy. You have a very particular brand of art, so what kind of inspires you on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, a lot of my work is based on real little children. People commission me to paint their kids in all sorts of fantasy settings, and I like doing that because kids come up with ideas that I would normally never think of, um, like crocheting on top of a giraffe surrounded by cats. I love seeing the way kids react to themselves in artwork. It's a really cool sight to see them holding their prints. What is the best idea that you can think of off the top of your head that you've gotten from a kid that you've done a portrait for? Uh, best idea, I did a dark-haired Alice in Wonderland, and she wanted to be playing a violin surrounded by all different animals um, on top of these giant mushrooms, and it's one of my favorites that I've done so far. Um, and I love that she wanted to be her own little Alice. Because you have such an original look to your artwork, what kind of medium do you usually use? I'm mostly strictly digital. I use Photoshop, CS4, I have a tablet I got at a garage sale. Um, I'll sketch in pencil, and but I do everything in Photoshop. Um, from the painting to any photo texture or photo manipulation that I'm going to do later over the painting. Um, but I'm all digital now. It looks like you have some additional like accessories and things like that. Um, what made you decide to branch out into making accessories and, and stuff like that for your art? Well, I sell my artwork on Etsy and I noticed there's a lot of people who don't have a need for prints um, or they don't have walls to put prints on and their walls are full. So that's when I started doing necklaces and mirrors and people can carry my artwork with them and um, it got a lot of different people to look at my artwork that wouldn't be looking at it normally. If someone wanted to find your artwork, purchase your artwork or check it out, where could they go besides Etsy to see what you do? Um, I'm on DeviantArt and I post shots of my work from start to finish on my Facebook page too. Um, and I, anyone can look up Jessica Grundy and both those pages will pop up. Now, boys and girls, the holiday season is upon us and when you are out there buying gifts for your loved ones, please, please, Remember to consider your local businesses and your independent artists. Independent artists like Jessica Grundy or like Nakatomi Inc. who we interviewed last week. Or the folks at Red Rocket Farm who were kind enough to give me this hilarious shirt. And while we're on the topic, also be sure to support independent video creators like this girl. Like this video, leave your comments down below, share it, and subscribe to our freaking channel. A special festive thanks goes out to Austin Books and Comics, which is another independent business that you should totally shop at this holiday season. Feliz Navidad. So this is the part of the show that makes me feel like I sound like a broken record. Everything's going to change. Nothing will ever be the same. Uh, For fans of the show, be sure to check out My Little Pony Friendship is Magic number one. I am so excited about this. I've been pooping rainbows for a week. Yay!